All right, everybody. <laughs> Am I on the right channel? <gasps> I hope I'm on the Big Cat Rescue site. I just had a devil of a time getting it started up. It's Have you guys seen around the gift shop? Um, it's not allowing me to like ask for donations if I post the way I've always posted in the, in the past and now <laughs> yeah Melissa I know I'm live thankfully <laughs> this time I know I'm live I made a mess there at the beginning um, yeah and I was <laughs> Deb says I am here um, is it all right side up and everything because that's what I'm mostly concerned about you know, I was screwing around with it and Look like it was upside down. I was just complimenting Erin on the shipping station here looking so clean and organized. There's a whole bunch of tours out there and they're all going to be headed back here in the gift shop so I'm going to try and get out of here and go see some cats. But first I wanted to stop by Lauren's office where I drove Lauren nuts today. <laughs> She's been working on our 360 videos and I got a hair up my nose and I must have emailed her like 30 times today but she was so polite to put up with me and try some new stuff. So hopefully the Amanda Tiger video will be up soon and visible and looking exactly like it should. <laughs> so. It was great footage, I just can't wait to see it can barely see Lauren behind all of her computers there. <laughs> okay, let's go see some cats. First up, Duchess. Duchess! Hey, Woody! The reason I am out doing a live is because I saw that poor bobcat on Facebook that had been shot in the eye with a dart. Did you guys see that? And I read a little bit about it. The, apparently somebody not only shot the bobcat, but also shot one of her babies. And I was so mad. I was just, I was gonna go out rage walking just to walk off how angry I was. And I decided to bring all of you with me. And knew that you guys would calm me down. Just like seeing all of these beautiful cats. It's so calming. I have half a mind to double the reward they have out for finding whoever that horrible person was that did that to those poor bobcats. You're so busy, huh? Yeah, all of your fans are coming. They're coming very soon. You gonna keep walking until they do? All right. Maybe we can head over and see if perfection is out. Tomorrow, from 1 p.m. until 9 p.m., I'm going to be ha at the Caledonia, Caledonia Brewery in Dunedin, which is a cool little town. I just love Dunedin, Florida. You can walk the whole town in about five minutes. And <laughs> it's got all kinds of restaurants and shops and touristy places. And they're holding an international film festival there currently. It's running for like a week and tomorrow is their day for doing VR. And you know how much I love virtual reality and augmented reality. So I'm gonna be there with our headsets and showing everybody the cats in the headsets. And then this morning I was listening to a podcast called VR in Education because I really think VR should be in education. And I was thrilled to learn about something called, hi, I'm going to tell you about it in a minute because I see a cutie in there. Do I see a cutie? I see that little cutie way back there even in the dark. Did I see her little cutie eyes? There she is. There's perfection, the ocelot. I wish you were here to help me too, Deb. I'm going to have Joyce Fitch helping me because we've been so busy here at the sanctuary. I didn't want to take anybody away from tours and all of that. 
and we have some friends from Turpentine Creek coming in tomorrow. Howie had set up to go have dinner with them, and I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm going to be at the VR Festival. But I suggested maybe he bring them out to the VR Festival so that they can see that. They can get a beer because it's a brewery. And maybe walk over and have dinner at one of the little places nearby. They also asked me to do a slideshow about the history of VR here at Big Cat Rescue. And so that'll be the first time that I've actually done a presentation <laughs> about VR. We have been trying since 2012 to get people to pay attention to VR. And I think we were just way too early. And people were like, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't understand it. And so where are all the cats? I'm looking for Breezy Bobcat right now. Breezy Bobcat. Oh, there she is. Hi. Oh, she's sleeping. She is sleeping. And she is deaf as they come, I think. You having a good snooze? <clears throat> I don't think there's going to be a better angle I can get on her. I'm going to back out a little bit so you can see that cute little bobcat tail. Yeah, it's very cute. So the podcast, VR and Education, they were talking to some people from LearningLab360.com. And if you're interested in that, again, it's LearningLab360.com. And I contacted them and Immersive, uh, which is a company that they work with, because I was thrilled to hear that they are decking out a trailer, kind of like our rescue van. And in fact, we've been talking about decking out our rescue van to bring 360 to fairs and um, schools and parking lots and anywhere that we can go with it to show the, the people that are interested in seeing big cats a way that they can see them in virtual reality and headsets instead of seeing captive cats. And so that's exactly what this company is doing, and they're in North Carolina. I understand that they're working with Carolina Tiger Rescue to do some filming there. And so um, they're taking these video pieces out to schools, and they charge $5 per person for the kids to see the VR, and it's about a 14-minute long thing. And they work with the teachers to make it about the uh, things that the children are studying. And so we'll go see if we can find an 